Hi everyone out there in yoga YouTube land. This is Jamie from Elevate Yoga and today I'd like to show you three different ways to do shoulder stand. Now, I'll admit shoulder stand is really not my favorite posture. Um, when I first started doing yoga, I accidentally turned my, my head to one side to see what another student was doing because I wasn't familiar with the pose and I threw my neck out for like two weeks. It was really painful. So really important to always stare straight up to the sky when you're doing shoulder stand. Um, and really important to use props. So we always want to keep a neutral curve in our cervical spine, in our neck spine. And the props, the blankets help us do that. So take two blankets, maybe even three, and have them at this size. And you're going to take them towards the end of your mat. Line them up so the rounded edges are on the same side and they're pointing towards the end of your mat. And then from here you're going to take the end of the mat and flip it up so there's just a little bit of blanket sticking out and then there's a little bit of mat to rest your head. And then from here you'll come and lay down with your shoulders towards the edge of the blankets and the back of your head on the mat. And then from here, you'll wiggle your shoulders underneath you, start to draw your legs up overhead, come into plow pose. Wiggle those shoulders underneath you and hold on to the low back. And then slowly begin to straighten up through the legs. Walk your hands down your back towards your head, reach up through your feet, but flex back your toes, make body feet, like she had those permanent high heels on. You want to line your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, all up in a line. So a lot of times you see people like this, and that's okay for a little while, but eventually you want the strength to really lift everything up, away from the floor. And when you come out, Feet come back overhead, release the hands, and super slow with control, roll all the way back down. And then once you land your feet, slide your shoulders headward so that the tips of your shoulder blades are right at the edge of the blankets, and release everything out so you're in like a restorative fish pose. You don't really need that counter pose of full fish if you're using the blankets. You could even take a twist here, which is really nice. And be sure to do both sides. So that's the first way to do shoulder stand. And classically, when people do shoulder stand, they don't use any props, they throw their feet over their head, chin to the chest, and then we take it all the way the other direction. So your chin to your chest and shoulder stand, no, no natural curve. And then you come into fish to counter pose, and no natural curve. It's just all crunchy in your neck, and that feels icky. So the props really help prevent that. So another option, if you're working on getting everything lined up in your shoulder stand, is to take this whole setup, just the way it is, over to the wall. And you may have to fold a little bit of mat in. And then similar to how you get into legs up the wall, you're going to sit side saddle, so scoot your tushy up against the molding. And then take your shoulder down to the edge of the blankets. And then roll onto your back. So you want a little, you want the shoulders right at the edge of the blankets. And then from here, very similar to coming up into bridge pose, you're going to walk the feet down, elbows in close, press the feet into the wall to lift the hips up, and walk those shoulders underneath you and hold on to the low back. I love this because you can press into the wall get the knees, hips, and shoulders lined up, and use the wall to make sure you're not doing one of these. Really nice. 
pressing the back of the head into the wall, into the floor. And then when you're ready to come down, you just gently release and you're in legs up the wall, which is kind of cool. And then slowly curl the to the other side. The last way to do shoulder stand is with a chair. So you're going to take your blankets. And from this size, you'll fold them in half. So that they're like this. You're going to take your chair and take your mat and fold it in half and then in half again and take this whole thing onto the chair so that there's plenty of mat coming up over the edge of the chair. And then your blankets just beyond that. So getting into this takes a little finagling. It's a little like Cirque du Soleil yoga. Um, so don't worry if you don't get it on the first try, but just make sure you're going slowly and carefully and gently. So what you're going to do is swing your legs up over the rung of the chair. And then start to lay yourself down and lean back. I know this is a little scary. Begin to release your feet, your knees, until you can find those blankets to release your shoulders. Hold on. Take your arms into the rung of the chair. Keep wiggling yourself forward until you feel ready to release your legs up to the sky. You can turn your palms out if your arms are long enough to grab the back of the chair and reach your tailbone up towards your heels. So for a while you might feel like you're hooked onto the back of the chair, but then eventually the chair is going to help you get those nice straight legs the way the wall was before. Super slow to come out of this. It takes, again, a little finagling. You want to shimmy your shoulders off the blankets and then slide yourself down so that your legs land on the chair. The blankets want to come under your sacrum. You can push the chair out. You find a restorative legs up on the chair way to finish, which feels really nice. So again, that last one takes a little practice, takes a little finagling, might feel a little awkward the first couple times you do it, um, but it does feel a little great once you get there. Um, shoulder stand isn't for everybody. If you have any neck issues, any disc issues, don't worry about it. You can totally just do legs up the wall. It's not required. Um, there's a lot of other inversions that can be done to get the same benefits. Anyway, thanks again for meeting me here, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Namaste.